Mm -hmm. All right, and it does look like we finally have our gamer sitting down. No one is playing Robin. I've been played this entire time. Uh, we are looking at Snake versus Sephiroth. The, the you know, typical uh, favorite uh, characters, or, or at least well-known characters. Yep. All right, so we oh. are coming and, in. So, I mean, Sephiroth is obviously going to be wanting to keep Snake at the the proper sword range. But, I mean, Snake's going to have so many ways to disrupt the things that Sephiroth wants to do. Good up throw combo to start things off. Not not to mention, oh, he may have a difficult time considering like, like how aggressive uh, oh, uh, the Sephiroth is, is being. Like, he is not give, he's giving little to, to no room to let him breathe, yeah. let, let alone to set up traps. So one thing I already love seeing out from uh, Kakaka is throwing out the crouch, which is going to be so huge in this matchup because it it just neuters uh, Sephiroth's neutral in wanting to you know land with aerials or anything like that. Sephiroth's really gonna have to commit with something like a, like a neutral air or a down tilt. And right there, Kakaka getting the first kill with the up tilt. Yeah, well, let's let, let's see if uh, if uh, Ishtar can can make it up uh, quite even. But once again, uh, Kakaka is, is like really was was riding really high up in the air, but now he's on the ground and uh, reverse the cross side B. Okay, <laughs> right. gotta be careful though. Ishtar was playing around the the C four. You can kind of see it's at the center, just to the right of the left platform. So. I don't want to be careful about that. I don't know if he sees it. We've got Kakaka in a uh, ledge trapping situation. But oh, what? A cipher just putting him in perfect posi position for the back air. Which which gave Kakaka enough room to actually get out of the, uh, the, the side area. There we go. But the wing boosted sweet spot back air finally going to be taking Kakaka's first stock at like 170. But Ishtar's definitely got a little bit to climb. And... Sephiroth, Sephiroth, despite how he looks, he's he's a light boy, and and Snake, the, despite how he looks, it, it is a heavy boy because a, that because that hits really hard. That's a man who eats his rations, you know. <laughs> okay, so Ishtar finally maybe gonna be getting something started, putting Kakaka off stage, and this is definitely where Sephiroth can uh, Ooh, really make some magic happen is when he's ledge trapping and edge guarding. Sephiroth has amazing edge guarding tools, but Snake recovers in just kind of such of a weird way that it can be a little bit difficult. But that Aqua Slash will be doing it. Kakaka getting a little bit too greedy there. Meanwhile, Ishtar ready for the reversal, but I think this should be the fun combo. No, no fun. Get the, no get fun the allowed. <laughs> so Ishtar getting a chance for a little bit of extra credit right now, living at 169, which is not something you really expect against a snake. But I mean, if Ishtar can start keeping him out, because I mean, if Kakaka wants to get in, Ishtar really shouldn't have to let him, but that is absolutely gonna be an up tilt. 70% extra credit though, certainly nothing to sneeze at for Ishtar. Yeah, yeah the last thing you really wanna do as Sephiroth is, is to be above um, Snake because, uh, Again, that's why he looks. Of course, his arrows of course, are, are, are pretty strong. Up, up here, of course, can, can like a potentially kill. Especially considering of course, that uh, Sephiroth of course, is, of course, is a very light boy. Mm -hmm. Great crouch there by Kakaka. You know, recognizing that that's just so important for the neutral. There we go. Ishtar using that down tilt to maybe try and set up a juggle, not getting anything out of it. Oh, that was a weird uh, trade right there, oh, but... you got to keep track of those C4s. <laughs> Trying to threaten at ledge again, using that triple jump with the forward air to get some space at ledge. Now Kakaka at ledge. Ishar may be looking for a kill while Kakaka tries to find his way back into center. And the down smash just barely spacing outside of the forward tilt, which I think also maybe would have killed Ishtar there. What? Possibly, but what I know is Sephiroth could definitely could went for those uh, those shins. Uh, Sephiroth, you know, a, a war veteran could himself really want to put Snake could, in, in retirement. Absolutely, looking like Metal Gear Solid 4 old Snake. <laughs> I haven't played Solid 4 yet. I need to. I, I probably don't need to, but I want to. <laughs> I haven't played. Oh, I haven't okay, played or, or finished a lot of the, uh, the, the Snake games, but. Um, 
what I will say is uh, is that uh, in, in round two, uh, Ishtar really needs to be careful of, of getting grabbed by uh, by Kakaka, who who decides to, uh, to do a salty run back on a uh, uh, on, on, on small battlefield. But yes, yeah. I I definitely agree because I think Snake has much better like um, scrapping tools, especially in just like grenades. So he can he can prosper a little bit more on like up close, whereas Sephiroth really does not want you up close. He has like jab and neutral air, and that's kind of it. He wants to keep you at range like that. <laughs> it starts showing me the range right there, right there. Mm -hmm. He, uh, um, as Sephiroth, you really want to try to c control as, as much of the mid. Swing. Yo, we swinging. Let's F -tilt, let's F -tilt. go. Hey, if it hey if it ain't broke, man, don't fix it. And getting the mega flare there to get Kakaka's first stock. Uh, catching Kakaka coming up just a little bit too early there. Oh. What a bait on the get up attack. And Kakaka keeping things even immediately. Well then, that uh, that lead he potentially had is is totally out the window. But he still has a chance to actually take a quick, quick, um game two. Yeah. Okay. Great patience there by Ishtar. Not getting caught by the C4. Oh. oh are we going to get more F tilts? No. Hey, ooh, but this time, just running in and grabbing Kakaka. Uh, committed to the grenade on the platform right there. But the grenade's doing so much work right now in helping Kakaka get up from ledge and really um, limiting Ishtar's ledge trapping potential, forcing him to kind of go back into center stage. Misspacing a little bit with these neutral airs. And Ishtar going to be getting a dash attack for his troubles. Yeah, uh, this this is some uh, controlled uh, neutral, if anything. Uh, it's, it, it, it seems like, uh, not that Rob, uh, Snake is, 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 trying to, is trying to control the field okay, with both the grenades, but we're going to get a mega flare, and he lives. Oh, yep. but he... And another one, the second level flare still not taking it. Snake very heavy, but that dash attack absolutely going to be doing it. Ooh, per perfect, perfect example of, of, uh, of Snake being uh, fairly heavy and definitely hard to kill. Oh, that's a no jump. Oh, but Kakaga uses his air dodge to get back. Great pivot grab, and it keeps coming. We'll see if Ishtar can finish things out with this uh, ledge trapping attempt. Now, now thinking about it, uh, well, actually, I'm, I'm seriously. <laughs> All right. Yo, yeah. Hey, we... it just does it. Hey, hey. If it if it works, it works. <laughs> Ishtar getting maybe a little bit too comfy right there, just right into Snake's loving foot. Now, uh, Kakaka Kaka needs to be a little a little careful at this point. It's, it's see if he try to close in the gap as far as damage. If uh, if he wants to quote, quote, take game two. Yeah, and you can already see the way that Kakaka Kaka opened up. Ishtar's last stock is he tried to go for a reset. He really does not want to return to neutral right now because that's where Ishtar has really been taking him to town. All right. So oh, we are flying. Yep, trying to do some sneaky oh, setups with the C4. Yeah, could, I, I think I saw, I saw an opportunity where where Ishtar could, could have ended it with, oh. with like an up air, but he missed, uh, he missed the opportunity. Oh. We're put in a kind of a bad situation with his own grenade right there, but get, they're right there getting the C4. Kakaka has a lot of rage right now, but the up air will be enough for Ishtar to be taking things 2-0. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that was some great adaptation, I feel like, we saw where <laughs> those F-tilts. Yo, F-tilt boy, let's go! I mean... <laughs> At the end of the day, that's kind of what I was getting at is, you know, Ishtar really starting to recognize his win condition of just keeping Kakaka out. That was a great get up attack read, by mm. the way. I, I love that bait. I, I also, uh, I also quite, quite like, like it too, but uh, he was, I guess he was putting it in an awkward situation because you either, you either try to attempt to acquire the swing or, or you potentially try to roll quite, well, towards, towards the edge of the stage and then get uh, F, uh, F tilt, which is, you know, surprisingly strong and, quite, and can kill at, 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 at that uh, percentage. Yeah, Kakaka definitely was not expecting to be caught by that up air. Just a little bit. <laughs> A little bit too powerful, a little bit too big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I I do question why why he decided to to, to go to uh, back to sm back to small battlefield only because you know uh, I mean again not. Not, not to say he lost, but but it was like there's like better options as, mm -hmm. as far as stages, like say, uh, small, no, not small battle for uh, Pokemon Stadium Two, for example. Uh, there's also Okotana City where, where he could like get, get, get more breathing room, mm -hmm. or sort of deal with Sephiroth's uh, uh, tilts. Honestly, I kind of feel like small <coughs> battlefield was a good pick for Kakaka, because like I was saying before, 